Ubisoft's E3 demo of Splinter Cell Conviction blew us completely away, so when we got the call to go hands-on with the game for the first time, we could hardly contain our excitement. Our playthrough allowed us to get a better feel for the game outside of the slick E3 showing, and we wasted no time trying out different approaches to the mansion scenario. Sam's trademark night vision goggles, which have been the iconic imagery of nearly every game in the series so far, will not feature prominently in Conviction. Instead, when you're hidden in shadow, a visual filter will help you distinguish enemies and interactive objects. According to the game's designers, you should feel like the ultimate predator in Splinter Cell Conviction. This means you no longer have to worry about hiding dead bodies, for example. You can now just take out enemies in a variety of different ways, such as jumping on top of them. We also got to try out some of Sam's new hostage-taking capabilities. If you approach enemies and hold the X button, you can hold and interrogate them, and then press X again to execute them. You can also push forward in the X button to throw hostages into other enemies. Finally, effective killing allows you to queue up mark and execute assassinations, which allow you to mark up enemies or lights before entering a room, and then kill them immediately once you've activated it. Sam is much more athletic this time around, and he can move along ledges, open windows, and pop up to take out enemies silently. He also employs a combat skill called Krav Maga, which is an Israeli tactical defense system. My candy, man. Probably wants a new flavor. Splinter Cell Conviction is shaping up incredibly well at this stage, and while it's disappointing to hear that it's been pushed back to early 2010, we're happy that it's getting more time to be polished up. We'll definitely have more on the game in the very near future. What the fuck, man?